Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Yes, ma'am. And yes, young fella and young fellettes. All right. We got we got an exciting time here right now. Uh, we're blustering, blowing sideways rain out there. It's been going on for about a week. We've been blown out the whole week pretty much. So we're, we're wrapping up axes. We're getting caught up on axes. There's axe orders coming in for Christmas, which is cool. The Christmas axe thing is happening. If you are planning on buying a Christmas axe, if you've thought about it, um, don't think too long, I guess is all I'm saying. That, that's it. You know what I mean? Anyways, another cool project that's on the go right now, and it happens strangely, friends. Uh, my buddy from school, give me a call, Mike. Yeah, buddy. And is it Dexter? No. Uh, what's your... Declan. Declan's your boy. He's a tree guy, too. An aspiring young tree man working for a bigger tree outfit in town. Uh, nice fella. Uh, friends. So Cody gets a hold of me. He's excited. You can tell he's an excited guy. He's probably fit. He likes to swing an axe. I think he's a tree guy, not positive. But Cody, uh, I love you, buddy. You got a great spirit. He sent me a message. He says, "Have you? Oh, there's my boy. What the hell's going on? Hang on. Oh, Danley, Danley, son. Thank you. Oh, it's awesome. Rita just called. Yeah, she's gonna have to wait. Did you get a hold of her? <clears throat> Sorry, friends. So, my boy brought me a coffee. He, that kid boy. I asked him to, eh? It's an Americano, too. Deadly. Deadly. So, what could be better? Friends, you know. This is Ardex out of Canada. Anyway, I'm rambling. I get caught in different areas in my mind. Cody, we're making it. We're resurrecting this. Check this out, friends. Here it is. It's crazy. I have a feeling that I can I can get this out. And what I'm going to do, you, you can see it's stumped out on the, sh on the shoulder here, but it will go down further. It, you're darn right it will. I'll make it go down further so that we can get this proud. I want this to be a proud axe. It came out of the factory as a flat top, friends. And it's the original handle, friends. It, it is the original handle. Straight up and down green. How's my friends from the UK, Ireland, England, man, all you guys, Scotland, Mikey Yo-Yo, how are you feeling, buddy? Oh, man, what, what a crazy thing YouTube is, how it's all over the world. I, I just love it. You can turn on the freaking thing and you can talk to people all over the world live. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to pop this out of here. I think I can get this wedge out. I do. I think I can get it out. Oh, there's my boy brought me my coffee. I want to do this, friends. I want I want to do this. Let's see. This might just come out. I'm not joking you. Yes, indeed. Here it comes. Look at friends. See, this is I don't know. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Dry as a bone. There was never any glue. Friends, you, you got to remember something. This is a factory axe. This was built in the factory like this. Um, so it just kind of gives you an idea of what's coming out of the, you know, the mass production. I mean, that's a skinny little wedge. Uh, it, it probably did okay for a certain while, but uh, we're going to change this. Cody, I, I hope you're ready. Uh, this thing's going to be beautiful, buddy. I'm excited we found this. The timing's been crazy on this. Anyways, back at her. This is crazy. You guys need to see this. Look. There it is. We are resurrecting this handle, and it is going to be a completely different axe. Oh. Okay. Now. Oh, my dear Lord. Look at this, friends. Look at so we've got some room, not much. This wasn't a bad haft. This wasn't a bad haft, actually. This was a good haft. This handle's crazy. It's freaking crazy, friends. It's got a little knot in it here. Little little defect in the wood right there. But me and me and my buddy Cody, we talked about it. He wants me to resurrect it, so we're gonna do it. 
And old Bakken is going to split. I'm going to split wood with this. We're going to see which symmetry, which is better. Mind you, this is a little heavier, but let's check the weights. Let's see. That one is four and a half pounds. And the big one is five and a half. It's a five and a half pounder, buddy. You just asked for a five and a half pound axe, remember? Cody, this is crazy, man. The, the, seriously, friends, this happened on the same freaking day. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm, I'm using the iPad right now, friends. Guess who gave us that? Right there. The little fan. Yes, indeed. James Ledemsma, homeless Scooby gave us that. Huh? Oh, yeah. It's gross out and cold. We're gonna put a new paper, sandpaper on here. This is what I love about this machine. It cost me nothing. My good buddy gave it to me. Literally said, take this out of here. It was sitting out in the rain at his shop. He's a knife maker, bike builder, uh, extraordinaire. He actually built my, helped me put my bike back together when it was all foobar. Right, friends? Foobar. You ever hear that word, foobar? Foobar. Okay. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a good build. It really is, friends. Resurrection time. I'm gonna drop that ax down on that shoulder a little more, but for starters, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm just gonna sand it. I could scrape it. Yes, I could. I could scrape it. But time is a factor in my life now. See what I mean? Just lightly. <laughs> I hate that crap. I hate stuff on my face. I hate it. I hate sunglasses on my face. I hate glasses. I hate crap on my face. I hate it. I've always hated it since I've been a little kid. Hate it. I just hate it. Did I say hate it? Ah. <coughs> ah. Okay. All right. 14 minutes. Friends, I got you guys set up for a burn here, okay? Um, a, lot of, a lot of burns you see are... <clears throat> kind of maybe blotchy. You see them, they get blotches. Mine started out like that a long time ago too. But you get better at it as you go. Had to open the window. Check this out, friends. I hope this does it justice. Oh, it's lovely, friends. My cameras are, I mean, it's an, I, it's an iPad, right? This will be better once I get the iPhone. See the cracks from the heat? Yeah, <laughs> look at, look at. It's old, this handle. That means nothing. I got handles that have been cracked for years. It just means it's bone, bone dry. That's a good thing. I, there's nothing wrong with that. Now. This is gonna be interesting, friends. This is gonna be very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna deal with the head. This is what our head looks like now, friends. It's got a lot of the paint on it. I'm gonna leave some of it on. Just gonna give it the bucking special. It's a beautiful, beautiful ax head, friends. Fire, fire, double fire. Okay, friends, I, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously excited right now. I, I know I'm, I'm always like this, friends, but this is, you get into a project once in a while where all of a sudden you light up. Like I got this double fire thing going with Cody, um, friends. And uh, it, it, it's so enjoyable, this work. It, if you don't have to axes and you've thought about it, it is not that hard, friends. It just takes time 
Don't rush through it. Get into it. Get on YouTube. Follow some of your favorite axe guys. There's some great hafters out there. Friends, there's a ton of guys hafting axes, okay? I hafted axes out of necessity. It wasn't a hobby. I, I, I hafted, started hafting axes out of necessity to half my own fallen axes and my wood splitting axes. That's where I started doing this with our Vikas and, and my wedge bang and, you know, just the Chinese axes I used to buy for banging wedges because we'd go through them. Been through tons of those. So that's where my hafting began in necessity. But the axe community and the axe world is such a huge... It's a plethora of, of, of people out there doing it. And it isn't that hard. And there's so many different ways and so many different uh, techniques. Pick one. Get a hold of it. Make some axes. Feel what it feels like to build something. And get out there and smash some wood and get your heart rate up there outside in the wood. This is what... It's primitive, honest, humble labor. And uh, it saved my ass. I'm just going to tell you right now, ass ain't a, ain't a swear word. I don't swear on this channel. There's jackass, which is a donkey. It saved my ass, this stuff, friends. It gave me purpose. It gave me an identity. I, I was raised by my mother, and, and, and I just... It, it, I had some rough years when I was a younger kid, and this gave, my, gave me a purpose. A couple times in my life, it actually pulled me out of the bite the axes and the power saws in the woods. So I have a super duper connection to this stuff. So when I get into a project like this, I, I, I start to light up, I get excited, I get into the, into the almost into the, uh, oh, the history of it and everything. It starts to, it starts gnawing away at me, it's crazy. So I want, this is what I wanna show you. Look at the space, can you guys see the space there now? See it? I created space here. And I'll show you why I did that. Yeah, this you, we got to be careful with this. Friends, me again. So listen, what I done is I just, I didn't even bother showing you guys because I had to take such small amount of material at the back. And I'm going to show you that here right now. And it's just, I took a little tool that I had, like a little hand carving tool. And I just ever so slightly almost scraped up the back because that's where I'm just showing you that now. We got proudness from that. So I needed to create space for that. But I didn't show you guys that because it literally took a few minutes. I just pulled some space at the very back there. All right? You, you have to. It's feeling tight now. So, so this is going to be... And look at, look at what we got. So that's the cool thing about it. It's the actual, the original. It'll be fine. I can feel it now. Now that it's tighter on the head, it's going to be good, buddy. You just got to be careful with it. Hey, what was I doing? Oh, it's Cody right there. Oh, he's on, he's ready to go, friends. I told Cody, Cody, you crazy bugger. See, this is the part I like about this channel, friends. For me, I, I, I like I'm I like excitement. I, I'm always been that guy. I got Cody on the WhatsApp right now. We're doing a freaking video right here. I, I what I told him here, and I'll explain it to you guys. I'm getting excited. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh. There it is right there. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, so I told Cody that this would be being an original handle, a special occasion axe. Take it out special occasion, give it a swing because it's going to destroy wood. It is. I will show you. I'll do some with it. Now, here's the, here's the deal. On this little sucker right here, it's going to be a wood destroyer. It is. I'm going to make, we're doing this. It's called the double fire. Double fire session. We're going to do it. He, he just says he wants to take both of them, the crazy bugger. What are you going to do? This thing's nuts. There's no name on it. Well, there probably is a name on it. I just can't see it. I'll probably find something. But the geometry is way different. Okay, friends, I got to get back to Cody. I'll talk to you guys in a minute.
Friends, when I'm stoking my fire, how are we doing, everybody? I like to keep space between the wood. Like you can throw, you can just throw wood in the fire, and watch what happens if I, if you just see if I, if I close the gap between the woods, you lose that little bit of airflow in between each piece. Like you can see it right in there. It it actually slowed down. Now when I kick it open, see what just happened. Just kick, space your wood out a little bit so flame is allowed if you want to get a rip roar and fire go. Don't just whip it in there. It, this makes a massive difference. Look what's happening. All I do now, just watch this. See if I close that off, look what happens. See it's see it's straight, it's trying to fight its way through. Look at it. On and off. Like so if that closes up like that, there. It's gonna slow the fire down and when it's cold and raining out and snotty, we you know, it, it, it'll also screw up your draw a little bit in the fire. So I'm uh, I'm just doing a slight interlude here on, on this video, on this axe build, friends. And, it, and it's strictly out of gratitude. It's it's Monday. It is, we, we've been in a, we've been in a snot weather here. Snot, blowing, snotty, not conducive to, we got a couple of nice jobs we want to get at, but we just haven't been able to get at them. So, I mean... You know the the axe builds and stuff. I mean, thank goodness for them. To be honest, I'm I'm grateful for for you guys. And and look, I mean, it's just it's just been horrible. And this isn't even that bad. But anyway, regardless, I just wanted to come on and I wanted to thank you guys again. Oh, there's Chica. I wanted to thank everybody for yesterday's uh, live feed. This community is 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 is, is it's it's special. It's just special. And I and I, I don't want to sound like a broken record, and but but friends, it, I don't take this stuff lightly at all, at all. Cody, your axe got me. Excuse me, it got me good. <laughs> I was fighting with the power saw. Wow. Anyway, friends, back to the movie here, but uh, I'm doing it on this iPad. We'll see how it works out. Okay, friends, I love you all. Thanks so much. Friends, thanks for watching my videos. See you guys on the next one. Who knows what it'll be? Probably axes and tree cutting and stuff like that. Over and out, be kind to one another.